Kalalaf, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Yahweh, Kadash. I will understand the apostles, that great millstone. Salute to you, brothers, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. Now, um, I had a short uh, dream uh, last night. I had some, some other dreams and stuff, but uh, to go into it, because it was short, but I said that, you know, I might as well do a video on it. But it was about the UFOs and um, the chariots and... You know, um, it was about uh, being beamed up. You know, the scripture says we shall be caught all together in the clouds. So uh, to go straight into it, man, I just want to go straight into it. I don't want to keep this video long. But um, so there was a group of, of um, you know, brothers, of people. But I couldn't see who anybody was because it was uh, you just couldn't I couldn't see make out anybody. But there was a you know whole group of brothers and um, I was in a town, and this town, um, you know, it kind of looked um, like a post-apocalyptic movie. You know what I mean? Things were happening, you know, like you get like uh, Demolition Man, Children of I Men. So one of those types of movies, man. I don't know if Demolition Man would be the best example, but um, things were running with a chip and all that. But then there was like, you know, outlaws and um and uh, how else would you put it? Outlaws and uh, off the gridders. But anyway, um, so pretty much um, an angel had, had come and was speaking to us, the group, and said to everybody in the group that um, it's time, basically it's time to, to, to get um, a chariot's going to come and cover the earth. And pretty much, um, you know, you got to be prepared. Now, uh, what had happened what the highlight what kind of stood out for me in the stream was that everybody that was in the group had we, we were not at our houses we were not you know by you know family members and none of that we was away from all of that and um you know you never had the time to make a phone call to you know a cousin or an aunt or somebody like that to tell them where you were and the angel was pretty much saying look you gotta you know you better be prepared right now so if when the chariot does come, you know, you ain't got no time to go to any loved ones or anything like that. And basically that was the, one of the requirements. If, you know, if anybody was going to um, do that, which I think some, you know, some people did, but they weren't going to get beamed up into the ship pretty much, you know. Um, and that had me thinking about a lot of things. You know, you could be out driving somewhere and you're not at your house. And then, you know... You got to be ready at any time, you know. And um, it got to the point, and I, I might I want to talk about that a bit after. I'm just going to conclude the dream, but um, because it wasn't a long dream. Then it got to a point. So there was other members of the group, and I don't know who was. I don't know. It wasn't you know. I don't know who was who, but other people had disappeared, and there was people there. But pretty much, it was. It was kind of by it was by ourselves at this point, but I knew everyone was around, and um. Basically, it felt like the, the, the chariot had come over the, the, the you know, city, over the town, and uh, pretty much covered the whole sky, man. You know, it was like, it, it, you know, it was cloudy. It was, the, you know, storms. It, it looked unreal. And, um, you know, everything just stopped, you know, as we know, man, as the scriptures say. And um, at that point, you know, I had said, well, look, man, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing in this world, so I was like, fuck it, man, I'll do whatever, whatever the hell I gotta do, so what had happened was, the the next stage was, um, the angel was like, okay, the chariot's here now, and basically, um, you, you gotta give up everything, even your own body, so when, as the, char as the uh, chariot came, you know, the world stopped and everything, and everything was just gloomy, you know, pretty much, you know, you, you, your, your arms would go apart, and, but you had to, basically, before the, the beam came, you had to like, basically look at, look at it like you're going to just die. So it's almost like, it was like a leap of faith. It's almost like you jumped. And this is what I thought about. Let's say you was on a cliff and you jumped off the cliff. And um, it was kind of like that, you know, that, that suspense of, okay, now it's over. But what had happened was, so when you let, go, you know, you let go, you had to just let go. And when you let go, you kind of was uh, like in fear and a bit, 
you know, like, fuck it. But I said, you know, if it's going to be that, whatever. But then what had happened was, um, as at the moment of doing that for a couple of seconds, then, you know, the body transformed and, you know, I got this surge of um, energy and then you started shooting up into the, in the ship quick and just leaving the Earth's atmosphere powered up, man. Basically, like, you felt like you was flying and kind of going, Rah! you know, it was a surge of energy and, 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 and bro, I, I don't know, man, that dream was just crazy and it kind of ended there getting up in the tractor beam. Um, and that was the dream, man. But there was, so, you know, right before, it's like Romans 12 and 1, um, present your body as a living sacrifice, you know, as, um, you know, the, you know, uh, you know, how much are you willing to give up, man, in this world, you know, to receive, um, to receive the kingdom, you know, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, like I said, some of the parts that stuck out to me, you know, the beamed up part, I was, you know, I was, you know, that was spiritual, the way it happened, but, you know, the scripture says, uh, we, you know, we're prisoners of hope, so, you know, we still, you know, laboring to be saved, man. So I was kind of meditating on, you know, the requirements because it's almost like, let's say you got, let's say you got like an aunt or let's say you got a, a parent and let's say they call your phone and you don't pick up the phone. And this is hypothetical. I was thinking about this. Let's say you had a heart attack or something in your apartment. They might call your phone and they'll be like, oh, well, you didn't answer. I could have, you know, they think they can change the course. Of, but you can't, but that's not, they ain't got the, the power for none of that. They say, oh, you know, oh, you're not picking up the phone. I was worried. And I think to myself, with scenarios that would like that is, there's nothing that you can, you can, you can't, you know, it's family members, they can't, they can't even save themselves. You know, so, you know, <laughs> you know, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, they, they can't, you know, and that's why you can't, you know, you can't be a mama's boy and all that. Well, mom, what well, mama's gonna save you and all that? Is mama gonna do? You know, she didn't, you didn't pick the phone up. She's gonna boot the door off. You know, heroic rush it to the hospital. I mean, come on, man. And that's and that's how it is. You know, um, you know, it was kind of like a scenario where, you know, when people go missing. <laughs> let's say you went out and let's say you said, oh, I'm just gonna go shopping today, and you, but you went out and you're driving a country side and then you got abducted or something and no one ever seen you again you know that's kind of the scenario but anyway um that's pretty much a dream you know um there might be a lot of parts i might want to highlight again if i haven't highlighted them properly but that, that was a dream it was short you know i had it last night man um kind of you know funny kind of time to have it because i was um some stuff was going on but you know, it was kind of, kind of spiritual, man. But, um, you know, the angel was giving the requirements and, um, you know, some people wanted to make calls like to cousins and people of that nature to let them know, well, you know, look, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be missing, but it's because of, 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 of um, I'm going to go get beamed up and people that were doing that, they weren't getting, um, you know, you just had to go, go with the spirit, go with the flow, and meet the, meet the maker, man. You didn't, you know, we didn't, I didn't see in the chariots. It didn't, the dream never got there. It was just the, the stage of, you know, getting there, man. You know, I never, you know, so, you know, it was just that, man. Um, and like I said, uh, even with the time when it was a second stage to go in the chariot, you had to pretty much give up like he was gonna die you know like you just had to let go but then when you let go you found out that you was that you wasn't dying you was you you were well, just being reborn you know as a a new creature man with a surge of energy it's it's it's, it's, it's it was just uh, it's just interesting man and you know and you know these things are going to happen you know the scripture says we're going to get those in a quick in a twinkling of an eye we shall be changed so we're not these bodies but these bodies are bodies of death more we're not we're not taking these either all your possessions you know people have to leave possessions cars you know things you got you know clothes and everything here so if that's the case then what can you really build here 
you know, it's, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's just, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just something else. You know, anyway, um, that was a dream. Um, you know, hopefully it's edifying. You can get certain out of it. And, uh, you know, on to the next video, man, you know, um, you know, the elect are going to get beamed up, man. You know what I mean? And that's, that's going to be the, you know, the event on the planet, man. Cause like I said, the chariot was so, but the, I didn't, I don't think I, the chariot was massive. It basically covered the earth. You know, it was so big that you, it was so gloomy. You couldn't really, you know, volcanoes would have been going off. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, you know, I can't even really describe it too much. Cause it just, you had to focus on what was, what was taking place, man. You know, it was really no time to, to, to be like, you know, you know what I mean? So, with that, I'm going to say shout out one, man. You know, your whole shy is coming, man. <laughs>